Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Play Microbiology. In this lecture we will discuss about the indole test that is one of the biochemical tests. Uh, indole test is also basically based on an enzyme. It is also an enzyme reaction. In indole test we check whether the bacteria produces tryptophanase enzyme or not. There are certain bacteria that produces tryptophanase enzyme. Okay. For example, E. coli not E. coli actually it is Escherichia coli, Proteus vulgaris and Vibrio cholera. They, these certain bacteria produces tryptophanase enzyme. So in the end of the reaction, if the colony you are using for indole test is positive, okay, if the result uh, comes at the end positive, then it means that the colony you are having in your petri plate may be consist of either E. coli, vulgaris or cholera okay uh, vibrio cholera okay so yes starting from the indole like starting from the introduction the principle principle is we detect whether the bacteria whether the colony which we have in our hand in our petri plate produces tryptophanase enzyme or not so what we detect is tryptophanase enzyme okay so this is our enzyme now what we need to detect this enzyme we need some substrate so that reaction is possible substrate here we use is tryptophan this is our substrate okay here we have our enzyme this is our tryptophan that is an amino acid it is uh, our substrate when this enzyme and substrate would react there would be production of indole okay what this enzyme does this enzyme degrade amino acid tryptophan into indole okay so this is the basic principle of indole test uh, what is the principle tryptophanase enzyme degrades the tryptophan to produce indole okay so there are certain bacteria that produces tryptophanase that are Escherichia coli proteus vulgaris vibrio cholera okay these three bacteria produces tryptophanase that degrades tryptophan into indole okay now second thing is when or how this indole test is performed okay so starting from the receiving of specimen like you receive specimen in the laboratory okay for example this is urine sample okay now what you will do you will streak this urine sample in a petri plate okay you will streak this urine sample in the petri plate and incubate it for 24 hours or 12 hours after 12 hours there would be formation of colony on the petri plate okay the first step is to perform gram staining on these marked colony okay we will perform gram stain to know whether our bacteria is gram positive or gram negative whether it is positive or whether it is gram negative if the bacteria or the colony is gram positive then what you will do you will perform catalase and if the bacteria is negative then we will perform here uh, four to five biochemical tests such as mr methyl red vp hibogus proscure okay indole citrate utilization test these are few tests that we perform if our gram staining is negative okay if the bacteria is gram negative so here uh, this is the step where we start performing biochemical reactions okay so the thing is in uh, we have for example just think we have bacteria we have a colony now we don't know whether it produces tryptophanase or not now simply what we will do we need tryptophan and from where tryptophan comes tryptophan uh, tryptophan is pre 
is in in peptone water okay we use here peptone water peptone water is rich in tryptophan so this would act as a base for tryptophanase like this would act as a base for uh, a bacteria where it would grow and convert the tryptophan that is present in the peptone water into indole okay so simple uh, like we will pick up some colonies from petri plate and uh, drop that colony into peptone water then we will incubate it for 12 hours and then after 12 hours what we will do we will add one reagent that is covax reagent covax reagent okay we will add covax reagent in this incubated peptone water now what will happen as we add covax reagent into this peptone water there would be formation of ring okay cherry colored ring if indole is present okay look once again i am explaining here we have peptone water that contains tryptophan okay we will include colonies colonies means we will include bacteria we will pour this bacteria into this prep, uh, peptone water if bacteria have tryptophanes then there would be formation of indole now after 12 hours means for example indole is present inside the peptone water as we add covax reagent covax reagent has one specialty that it forms complex with indole and uh, if there is indole present there would be a formation of cherry colored ring and in case if there is no indole means the colony that we have added in the peptone water does not produce a tryptophanase enzyme then there would be no production of indole in that case when we add covax reagent into it there would be formation of yellow colored ring okay if there is indole means if there is tryptophanase then there would be definitely indole and this would produce cherry colored ring cherry colored means uh, reddish to pink colored ring okay and if there is no tryptophanase means there would be no indole and there would be formation of yellow colored ring okay this is all about indole test if there is cherry colored ring means the bacteria produces tryptophanase and these are certain uh, bacteria that produces tryptophanase enzyme and if there is yellow colored ring it means the indole test is negative and the bacteria that give yellow colored ring are clapsula pneumonia proteus mirabilis pseudomonas and salmonella these few bacteria give yellow colored ring okay positive gives cherry colored ring okay and this one negative means yellow colored ring that's it that is all about indole test next we will learn uh, i think uh, citrate utilization test okay so stay tuned